Hi, let's walk through the new Unified Connect and Engage application to see how it can help users be more productive and create a better customer experience. What you're seeing here is the Univerge Blue Connect desktop application. I'm signed in as a user with Connect, which gives me access to all the employee collaboration tools I need to get work done quickly and effectively. But now I also have this new agent tab. In this scenario, I'm an employee that needs to help my company manage customer calls. The first thing to do besides potentially setting my status is to log in as an agent. In the background, my agent profile, which includes my skills, are all being assigned to me. At the moment, I'm assigned to only one queue, but I could be assigned to many. We see the total number of queues I belong to, and whichever queues are exceeding the wait threshold, which is defined by the admins. Wait time represents how long a caller has been waiting in the queue. It'll go red if the wait time exceeds the threshold. The Exceeded Only tab filters down my queues to only those exceeding their wait time. I can also make outbound calls using the Dial Out button, which also lets me choose what number I dial out with. The My Stats tab gives me a quick snapshot into how I'm spending my time. As of now, I'm in a Not Ready status. If needed, the admin can force me to go available if I exceed my Not Ready time. Absent of that, I get a gentle nudge to go available. I have this big blue bar that makes it easy for me to go immediately available for incoming customer calls. Otherwise, I can set a status manually. Now I'm available. If any interactions are coming in, I may be the one who needs to answer. While I'm logged in to take customer calls, two-way presence sync is already happening within Connect and Engage. That means whether other users are in Connect or working only in the standalone Engage application, they can see my status in real time. Note that I can't manually change my presence status anymore. My status is automatically updated based on my activity while acting as an agent. The moment I logged in as an agent, the Engage site is telling other employees that I'm taking customer calls and what my status is. If I go into some other busy status, like if I'm going on break, my status goes red, which shows I'm busy. While I'm signed in, I can do anything else I normally could do in Connect. I can call, chat, and meet with anyone in the organization while I'm waiting for a call. A call is coming in. You'll notice the call bar is orange. Orange means you're getting a contact center call. Any other Connect phone call would show up as blue. This lets frontline users easily know where the call is coming from. Individuals internally can see that I'm on a customer call with a do not disturb sign. At that point, they'll realize that I'll likely not answer if they try to call me. If anyone tries to call me, it will go directly to my voicemail, so it doesn't interrupt my current customer interaction. While I'm on this call, I'm presented with the most important things a frontline user needs to consider while they're handling this interaction. I can click on the call details to get relevant customer information like queue status, account status, username, and a lot more. I can still go back to the agent home screen and see the queue stats like wait time, which will help me determine whether I need to hurry up the interaction and get to the next caller. The classification tab allows you to document the outcomes of an interaction. Let's look at what you can do with an active call. You see my call controls across the top. I can mute and unmute myself. I can place a call on hold and pick it up again. I can use a keypad. And here are my transfer and add call buttons. Let's go with transfer first. I'm presented with a transfer directory with different options. For instance, I can transfer them to an IVR, like for example, a payment IVR. Or I can send them to other agents currently logged in, or transfer them to a queue. If I want to search for somebody, I can enter their name or phone number and find them. From there, I can do a cold or a warm transfer. When you transfer a call, you can choose to share the appropriate caller ID. The add call option lets you bring others into the customer call. When the contact answers, I can talk to them first. At that point, I can hang up on the contact or merge the calls together. Once I merge the calls, I'm given an attendees list where I can see everyone in the conference call. I can also remove attendees at any time, or I can hang up and the other attendees will keep talking. When we're done interacting, the classification menu appears immediately. My admin has made some of the fields mandatory, which means those fields must be complete before submitting the call classification. It's easy to know if I filled out all the required information because the button at the bottom will go from gray to blue. Once clicked, this classification goes on the customer's historical record and I'm available for another call. However, I may not be ready to take on more calls and need to set a different status. What if I need to work with someone else in the organization? I can easily start a chat or hop in a meeting. I can do all of this while keeping the customer on the line or on hold. That's not the only way I can collaborate. I can use the keypad and call other people. Now you can see that the person I've called has a blue call bar to indicate a non-contact center call. At no point did I have to jump between different applications to contact them, or check their status, or get bothered by different calls. When I'm done handling customer interactions, I can log out and get back to doing other work. 
The new Unified Connect and Engage experience helps you hit your next level of growth by giving your employees all the tools they need to get work done with each other and your customers.